Yes, I think. Good morning. Uh, yes, I think it's the case. Uh, it's due to a uh, couple of factors, I think. The first one is the very active management of the storage that now is very uh, full in terms of percentage, well above 60%. Uh, and that is, of course, uh, providing good confidence on the availability of the gas on one side. And on the other side, I mean, the development of the LNG capacity to receive further LNG has been developed on schedule in Italy and in the rest of Europe. And this is providing, of course, uh, the flexibility that is required to manage actively, I mean, the further possible further reduction of Russian gas flows. Tell me a little bit about um, not so much what we've got in Europe itself, but how we're preparing for the future and how we're preparing for an influx of potentially vast amounts more LNG. I know Piombino is very interesting, uh, but then we've got on the other side of the country, Ravenna. Just tell us a little bit about how we're future proofing our energy supplies. I think we are developing, I mean, we are moving forward in the direction that was set a year, year and a half ago, expanding the LNG capacity. You mentioned Piombino and Ravenna, that are the two facilities that we uh, that we will be operate, fully operating since beginning next year and is working the same way in the rest of Europe. Uh, and on the other side, we are strengthening the corridors that could provide, I mean, additional flows from south to north to provide not only or to fulfill not only the Italian demand, but potentially part of the other European demand that is still depending on the Russian flows. Stefano, can I talk about consolidation in the gas market with you at home in Italy? We were talking to the Italian gas CEO the other day about his attempts to consolidate the market. He thinks it's necessary as we talk about green transition. What's your view? Is more consolidation required at home in the Italian market, but also further afield? I think we have two different situations uh, with respect to dist gas distribution and gas transportation. In, in gas transportation, we control practically entire, the entire network in the country. We have developed uh, uh, strongly the LNG capacity. We recently announced the exercise of the option to raise the stake in the other LNG facility nearby Rovigo up to 30 percent. I think on the LNG, that is the most significant part this consolidation is going on. And I think it's going to happen all, also in the rest of Europe. We heard about some announcement of further investments, for instance, from VTTI in a UK facility. That is another example. I think that uh, the, the most important moving part is the LNG capacity to that extent. Perhaps